I first became familiar with Music for All because my high school band, long before I was in it, was actively involved, and my high school band director and other teachers were involved in marching bands of America, um, and specifically the Summer Nationals. Uh, this is back in the 1980s, and uh, so I remember going into the you know the band workroom and seeing video VHS cassettes of you know 1983 Oskaloosa uh, and uh, Marian Catholic and and all these groups, and then you would see uh, VHS tapes from time to time of Grand Nationals. I mean, this is a time, believe it or not, before YouTube, before uh, kids would have this. It, at easy access. But, so the fact that I saw these things, I heard some recordings of the Bands of America National Concert Band Festival uh, uh, when I was you know, learning some repertoire as a high school student. Uh, so I was, I was aware of it through media first. Uh, I would see in magazines and percussive notes and uh, uh, you know, other music education journals things about champions of this and the pictures and and all that sort of thing. So I was I was familiar with the organization in two or three iterations ago uh, when I was a, a high school student. When I became a high school band director, uh, we uh, I, I taught at a school where the student leadership had traditionally participated in the Bands of America Summer Symposium. Uh, this is in Minnesota where I taught, and at the time it was in Bloomington, Normal, Illinois. And uh, our drum majors would always go, George Park's Drum Major Academy that was there. And so we, we continued doing this because the students who went there, and, and one of the really great things about that summer symposium is that there are tracks for jazz students, for marching students, for drum majors, for concert band students. So we could send from my high school, one year, about 30 students. They could share the cultural experience of being there. They could share the band camp experience, the concerts that were part of it, the communal dining experiences, the drum corps show. But then they could all focus on their own individual thing. We would always have kids in different, uh, different uh, dimensions of that program. So uh, four years as a high school band director, I went, did the director track, because I was supervising essentially students who were there uh, participating. And uh, my last year uh, as a high school band director, I was one of the conductors in the uh, National Band Association Young Conductor Mentor Project, which was hosted at the time in conjunction with the Summer Symposium. So uh, that experience has been really, really uh, pivotal in my life. Some of the people I worked with, uh, you know, there's a roll call of really great people in our profession to come through and inspire, but also I find that a lot of uh, the great high school band directors that I still know and admire and work with when I can are people that I met when I was a high school band director and they were high school band directors and we were all at the Bands of America Summer Symposium. Uh, so that's where I had kind of the most direct uh, experience with the organization. And then the last few years I've uh, been privileged and uh, really grateful to be part of the Music for All National Festival. Uh, on one of the judging panels uh, for that event. And for me, it's great to see my colleagues and uh, you know, good friends that we see two or three times a year would have a chance to come together. Um, and then to be part of such uh, a forward-thinking and educational performance experience for students. Uh, no ratings, uh, but a lot of guidance, a lot of feedback, a lot of inspiration. Uh, that's been one of the really, uh, really enjoyable uh, adjudication experiences of, of my career is to uh, be around and, and uh, work with Music for All.